Ooh, fancy color. Bye box. First thing to 3D print an umbrella. I hate this weather. Hello. Long time no see. Ah, I see the wing is being put to a good use, huh? <laughs> yes. A working table. So, this is what we have. And this is what we have. We're gonna go full 8K because 4K is so 2015. All right then, thank you for being fantastic warehouse. Ooh, our wings are being printed. Previously, we introduced you to our Big Rep 1.4 printer. In case you missed this video, to find out everything about it, check it in the video description below. And today we will show you another printer because although this is fantastic, one of the biggest printers out there on the market, if not the biggest, yep. uh, yeah, definitely for this price level, there. very up there. We also have another printer for different applications, for like really small stuff, very more really high detail stuff. So let's go have a look what this is. All right, so what's in the box or boxes? Lapo. So um, this is a, a resin printing kit. Okay, from nice. So I guess let's do unboxing so we can see what's actually inside and talk about it. Yep. So let's start with the big one, with yep. the main course. Ooh, fancy color. Bye box. Be gentle. Nice. USB 3.1. 10 hours later. So, what do we have? So, this one, the first, let's say, coolest box. Okay. <laughs> It's the uh, resin printer. And, and before you continue, I want to mention that you can check out the affiliate link in the video description below. So if you want to buy a resin printer for yourself and you go through that link, we will get a small kickback and you will support our business therefore as well. So check it out. So as you can see, this flips up and you have, we we'll still need to unpack it, a huge build volume for a resin. For, for a resin, because yeah. in comparison to one cubic meter yeah. big wrap, this <laughs> <It's> is... <laughs> no comparison. Yes. And we have the build plate, which it's massive. And it's the cool feature about this printer, let's see if I nailed it, is that you can hang the build plate uh, after you, you're, you print it apart, mm -hmm. and all the excess resin drips down into the belly pan. Okay. The thing on the left, it's a basically... A which is on the right? Which is on the right. Are you an engineer? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's a washing station. So My car needs a wash. Can I put it through there? Uh, a no, model. No, no, it's an S. So we need an XL size wash probably. So this one, basically you take it and you put it inside. It's going to wash all the excess resin. And then you can, in the last stage, cure it. Okay. Like, come on. But yes. then your parts. <laughs> it's gonna be a very long collaboration, Lava. <laughs> <laughs> ah, don't worry. Uh, so I think it opens on this side. So yeah, you have uh -huh. the turntable. It's somewhere else, and then basically put inside. There's UV light and a QRST. Oh, cool. Present. To make it like more sturdy or something. Yeah, or... to stabilize it and uh, have it, everything ready to go. Nice. Very cool. So I guess the next stage will be probably connecting it all, putting it all together and see how they work. Or is there anything that we would like to mention? I already have some small pieces to, let's see, model and mm -hmm. actually already model, but to print on this. Some inserts for the wings and before they go into uh, like say uh, prototype, but real prototype, so CNC the first batch mm -hmm. to see uh, if everything moves together. So we're going to print them because this is way more accurate in the small parts. Okay. So Sounds good. And obviously everyone out there, if you need something resin printed, contact us info at vulcan-alpha.com and we can get this done for you as well. And the same goes also for the 3D modeling and all the other stuff. Yeah, reach out to us, I guess. Oh, one more final box we didn't show. Yeah, Is these the are, the, let's say, the goodies, which are different types of resins. Resins, yeah. I need, still need to check what they sent us. Well, I mean, it's what you spec'd. Yeah, I don't remember. <laughs> you sent me, you sent me the, the, the shopping cart. This is 
Pro 110, which is rigid. So it's basically uh, to see if you don't need like uh, something to be flexible, mm -hmm. you're gonna print it like a bracket, you're gonna print it with this. So it's also different consistencies. Yeah, you can do rubber-based prints, so TPU. I don't know if, if we bought it, because I don't remember what I bought. Because it's been three months ago, to yeah. be honest. And now uh, this is black, same stuff. I think it's a tough one. Rigid PC. Politically uh, correct resin. So this is ABS, more tough or less. Tough ABS like tough, yeah. plus. Gray. All right. It's just, I took one of each so we can test them and see what we, what's the best thing that works for us. Mm -hmm. I think it's another impact. Impact? So it should be good for impact stuff. We'll see. That's also my font on the thumbnails. Impact? I think so, no. Was it, was it impact? Yeah. Yeah, the, 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 meme, the meme font. Oh, why is there... Uh, what's ah, this? Oh, yeah, for trying to yes. Yeah, okay, that's nice. Clothy. Carbon fiber uh, towel. Carbon fiber? Well, microfiber, <laughs> carbon fiber. Same stuff, yeah. Exactly, yeah. So if you find that your wing is a bit fluffy, yeah. it's Misha's fault. Okay. <laughs> so, let's assemble them. Yeah, we'll put them on a table and... <laughs> Which we still need to buy. So, fast forward with some IKEA tables. The printers are on top of it. And as you can see, we're actually still fully under construction. We have additional lights, thanks to the guys from Garage Style that are also installing them over there. And they also changed the floor, but that uh, was already in a separate video. More importantly, our printer is operational. Yes. The resin printer. So, what are we doing? What's our first product gonna be? Well, uh or amazing sign here. So we need to attach it to the pole. So we have an example of dual, uh, say, type of print. So we have the main uh, support is gonna, is, has been printed. I wanted to try two options, and we have the resin print that's been made on that machine here. So as you can see, it's way more dense, mm -hmm. and it's good for practical products. Nice. So we should, have, we should be ready, we have the resin pump here, even though we are already almost out of resin. <laughs> so we should be ready uh, with our support. Oh, okay, so you actually see what you're printing. Yeah, this one has uh, the screen. That's very cool. Here you have, basically you have a panel, an mm -hmm. LED panel at the bottom. that has, basically it's a flashlight mm -hmm. that's gonna, with UV, it's gonna cure the resin. Layer by layer, and here you see the, this first layer, which is going to be this bottom. It's, it's the, the bottom. The bottom, and, and then, then it, it starts yes. going layer by layer exactly. by layer. And does it say the time left? Ah, three and a half hours. Yeah, because uh, for example, now I'm just printing that part, but we can put a whole array of parts. Mm. It's going to still print in three and a half hours. Okay. Because it, having that this big of a lead, it cures the whole plate. So. All right. Now we did a very inefficient print. Yeah. In the future, if, we, if we're gonna do like batches, like trumpets or whatever, mm -hmm. and take manifolds like small pieces, we can do a batch and. Well, oh, so now we wait, and then we're gonna hang up the sign. Woo! But first of all, let me explain to you why we even need a sign. Over there is a very familiar building that you all know from recent years, Apex Nurburg. And our current address of Vulcan Alpha is Burgstrasse 1, across the street from Apex. And it actually leads you, first of all, for the first thing that you're gonna see, rent for rain. But Vulcan Alpha is actually located in the same building, but on the back side of it. So whenever a postman comes here, all the post gets delivered here. So we want to tell everyone to actually go behind the building. Then by now you will also know how to get to us. But first, we forgot to show you one very important step of the process. Well, we haven't forgotten it because we're showing it to you right now. And namely, how does this part well, it gets printed because you cannot go to the printer and say like, yo, can you, you print me like some kind of a holder? As you've seen before, uh, this is the holder for the sign that's gonna be outside the shop. It's gonna tell you where to go. It's made out with two parts, basically, uh, the holder for the sign and the second part, which is the basically a C-clamp. The C-clamp, it's gonna be made by the resin printer. Very sim simple, this is a normal, like, common program to model in. Mm -hmm. These are very simple models because we have to have them made fast. Yeah, so so how long did it take you to design this? 10 minutes. I don't know. Really? Okay. 
No, for me that that would take uh, probably like twenty days. I need to like start uh, up yeah, YouTube yeah. and figure out how. I'll it teach you. Don't worry. Oh, it's, okay, it's nice. Pretty, pretty, <laughs> this program is pretty uh, like easy to use. So. Okay, yeah. So once you made these all fancy shapes, yeah, you then co copy paste. I export it uh, uh -huh. as an STL file, which is a. Uh, Basically, all uh, slicers, mm -hmm. which are slicers, are called that way because they slice uh, your file in like very thin layers, mm -hmm. which are the layers that then the printer is gonna print on. Mm. In this case, with Frozen 3D printer, the slicer of choice is called Cheetah Box. Uh, uh, yeah, okay. Cheetah Box V1. Ah, okay, okay. That's how how you. Print. Yeah. Pronounce it because Cheetah yeah, box. yeah, okay. Right. Gio, did you make that uh, program? Because you have an E36 shit box. <laughs> so we have the component that we want to print. Oh, it already shows you the, the actual component yes. like this. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. All fantastic. STL files on Windows, they show up. So, yeah. Boop! Wow, fantastic. <laughs> and then basically you export it on the USB stick and put it in the printer, or? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you need to flip it. Fantastic. So after that, you process it, you slice it, it tells you uh, price grams of resin and the time no oh, nice but here you can see these it's the exposure time on the on the basically it's a photograph of each layer because this is a resin printer so mm -hmm. it cures the slices mm -hmm. with uv light so nice. this is the image that the leds will create on the resin bed when it's uh, curing cool so as you can see it goes up and it's the same so it's 551 layer in total exactly you can, you can go Thicker, you can go thinner depending on how uh, detailed you want your shot, your part. But this is a, like there's no detail whatsoever. So thanks for this very detailed explanation of the detail. Yep. And now on to the finished detail. Teamwork makes the dream work. Now all the mailmen can find us unless they don't speak German or English. Or they cannot see a drawing.